Hey buddy, it's your boy Guzman Jen. Back at it another video, guys. You know it. Back by Popper Demand is another top 10 video on torture devices. I guess you guys liked it so much, and I'm bringing you a whole new list of 10 new tortures. Some of them were executions, but they were also kind of torturous. And, um, yeah, let's do this. So, number one, as I promised one of my subscribers on the, that they, in the last video would be on it, number one is Brazen Bull. Now, the Brazen Bull is um, basically was a device that was made a, a bull, a statue or something like that, made out of a bronze, okay? Or um, usually it's bronze, or sometimes it was um, some kind of iron. And it was made out in the shape of a gigantic bull. And it was originally created in the Roman Empire to stop the spread of Christianity. Um, the way the mechanism is, is you put someone in it, Okay, and you close the hatch, and there's a hatch right in the right where the stomach would be. Okay, put someone in. Then you would light a fire underneath the bowl. Okay, and as the metal expands and gets hotter, you basically grow slowly cooking the person from the ins inside the bowl to death. Um, the only problem that comes to that would be the only the one of the most sadistic but cool things, guy, is the creator of the bowl, the brazen bowl, designed a mechanism inside the bowl. So when the person is in the bowl and screaming in agony, it's um the the noises the noises of their scream is trans is changed into bull noises like you know like I can't do a bull noise but like when they're getting ready to charge or something like that, it's their screams are turned into that. Also, steam usually comes out of the bowl, some nostrils and stuff, um and mouth. Fun fact about it, the guy who created the Brazen Bull was its first Tusk subject. Um, the I forgot the Roman Emperor who asked him to do it, but he said to build the thing. He built it, he brought it to the Emperor, and he said, Yo, um, here's your machine, It's here's how it works. And then he's like, How do I know it's going to work? Hmm. And then he snapped his finger and said, Yo, put you, let's just test it out on you. They put him in, they put a fire, and it works. Even the thing he said about the, you know, the, the noises. Then he's like, okay, stop. They douse the fire, pull him out. And then as some kind of mercy killing, uh, they throw him over the, they, he, the, this emperor was a dick, by the way. I mean, this emperor was a huge asshole. I, I'm, I'm just saying, prob most likely. Um, throws him off a cliff and he falls to his death. So, yeah. Uh, number two is a Nor Nordic slash Viking um, way of execution slash torture called the Blood Eagle. And the way this would work is, I don't know the what you really, like, it could be from a range of punishments. I do know one of them is, um, adultery. Um, a bunch of other things. So the way this would work is basically, um, obviously you're stripped, your shirt is stripped off. Um, and uh, they basically use these big metal tools, dig into your foot, cut your skin open, okay, to reveal your rib cage and your spine. They were they move your spine, break your spine, not spine, but uh, or not spine. They break your rib cage and flip it upside down to go outside of your body from right right here. And then they pull your lungs out over the cracks, your rib crack, your the cracks of your ribs, to the ribs. So, it looks like you have wings. And it looks like you're an eagle. Now, the thing is, fun fact, you wouldn't die from this right away. Uh, most likely, you would die soon. And um, usually, you were left wherever you usually left in that area till you died. Um, nine times out of ten, an animal would get you more along the lines of that because they left you usually. This usually happened outside more along the lines. Um... Number three is called Ling Chi. Now, Ling Chi is a Chinese torture slash execution method. Um, the way it works is basically Ling Chi translated to English is death by many thousand cuts. And the way it works is a person would be, you know, convicted of a crime or this or that, and they would be um, put in the public, and then their arms would be holded out, and a person would be sitting down or I don't know, they either be sitting down or standing. They never got into that explanation. And a person would take like a needle and just start cutting, cutting you. The way the needle is made, though, it's not to cut deep. But 
cut enough, okay? And it's just cutting, 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 cutting. The reason why it's cut thousands a thousand cuts is because it usually took not a thousand cuts, but it's like took a lot of cuts to the point where you basically bled out the death from all the cuts. Um, you got, but or accordingly, it's could take. Um, someone did last a thousand cuts, but I don't know why that was the case or anything. I'm pretty sure it would only take like five fifty or a hundred to kill someone. Um, <clears throat> but it would only take that many. That long for you to start hitting re reassisting cuts, making the cuts bigger. Um, number four is tied up, which uh, I gotta say, it's ingenious but also really fucked up. Um, this design torture was only known by one person. It was an emperor. Forgot the emperor's name. I just learned about him just now, and it was from Rome. And the way it worked for him personally is that he would call his, bring his enemies to his palace, you know, get them all drunk on wine, like give them a bunch of wine. And then while they were like, you know, doused up and drunk on wine, he would uh, tie their penis hole, okay? So they couldn't go pee, empty their bladder. And can you just, I'm just imagining it now, the excru, first the extrusion is, you know, tying up your, that your whole your penis your um your where your penis hole is okay where you pee from hole is now now imagine um not abling to go to the bathroom that's horrible and just imagine let's say he like let's say you don't die or you're not gonna die from this one he doesn't want to kill you so just imagine that he's like okay your torture's done enough oh I'm gonna I'm gonna do it just imagine he's gonna have to cut the the sewing needle with an with a spear or scissors or or whatever. So, oh my god, it's so fucked up. Um, number five was uh, called sewed into a donkey. Um, and the way that works is basically as it says. So what they do is, the person is cut open, or the donkey is cut open, killed, obviously. All its um, internal organs and entrails and intestines are removed. Then, uh, the, the accused is put inside the donkey and sewn back up with only their head sticking of the bottom of the donkey um so they won't suffocate to death then they are left the donkey is left in the hot sun for maggots decomposition to be to take place maggots will obviously eat at the victim at the per poor person buzzards and um, buzzards and um uh, crows will eat uh, the the flesh therefore not only eating the Donkey, but actually attacking the kid person as well. So, yeah, uh, that one's fucked up. And number six pretty much is, I think, one of the fucked, most fucked up tortures. One of the weirdest but most fucked up tortures of all time. It's called Force to Compulate with Animals. That's what I call it. But basically what it is, it was used through the during the Roman times. And it was not only used for women, but also for men. And basically, you were brought into the arena, uh, like, you know, like the Colosseum, kind of like. And um, it's a torture slash punishment, whatever it is. And most likely a death sentence, too. Um, and you were, you basically were forced to have sex with animals. Like, from, from the animals range from bulls, dogs, cats, um, wolves, lions, tigers, or lions, not tigers, or lions, bears, um... Apes, donkeys, and I believe that's about it. Yeah. And, um, if you didn't want to do it, uh, fun fact, uh, the animals were trained to rape you. No matter if you were a man or a woman. So, um, yeah. Fucked up. Um... I'm sorry. I'm just picturing it now that a woman getting a, a, a person, a man getting a, uh, not only is that, but you're probably gonna die if it's like a tiger, a, an anim, a uh, a tiger, lion, or um, or lion, bear, or even an ox would probably kill you. Um, I'm not sure about a donkey. If if maybe a donkey could kill you too, or uh, what's it called? Dog and cat, I'm not, I'm not so sure about it, but the the lion, but oh bear, ape, 
Ape would kill you for sure. There's no way you wouldn't die from an ape. Um, number seven is bo the boots. The boots is similar to the braking wheel minus the wheel and similar to the thumb screws minus the screws. So the way it works is it's like a contraption that fits around your le your foot and leg and it's um like has spikes to put in but it only connects to the other part of the the um contraption it's not for yourself um but it doesn't connect all the way so what the person what a person would do is once they connect it around the person's legs uh they smash the thing with a sledgehammer um to s connect it squeezing the leg into place like the thing into place and basically also causing excruciating pain because not only you're hitting the, the, the contraption, but you're technically also hitting bone, causing the bone, um, causing the, um, the, the wood to compress around the thing, squeezing and, you know, compressing the, the bone, which is also pretty fucked up. Number eight is, um, keel hauling. Keel hauling basically works as, um, if you don't know what it is, pretty much everyone knows what keel hauling is, but it's a, was a punishment used by pirates, but not really much by pirates at all, uh, mostly from pirates and navy men. The Navy, and the way it works is if someone's, let's say, um, charged for a mutiny or um, disobeying direct orders or just not doing their job, um, you are you are sentenced to doing this by the way you do this is um, they tie you to the mast of the ship or whatever in a rope and they lower you down to the water and they just basically drag you across the, sh the bottom of the ship. By you being ripped, your skit with your basically your ship's your shirt's ripped. You're not naked, but your shirt's ripped. So you're basically being ripped to shreds by barnacles. And if you don't draw die from the um the either the loss of blood or the being drowned to death, sharks the blood of your blood will attract the sharks. Will either the third or fourth trip will kill. They will kill you. They'll either eat you or something like that. Now, and there's another honorable mention I'm gonna give it to or dishonorable mention in this case is a torture device. Is the uh, whipping, which is obviously everyone knows what whipping is. It's also being was used in the navy and um, enslaved. Okay, that's number number nine is coffin torture, and the reason how coffin torture works basically is it was used for a wide range of punishment. It was even used during the um, pirate era to stop piracy. And that basically is a uh, giant cage. It's kind of in the form of a human body, in the shape of a human body, but it's not. But it won't let you have enough room. It's like you're kind of compressed together. It's painful. You're usually in a public place, and um, you're left either in the cold or the heat. Um, people humiliate you by throwing stuff at you, kind of like the the plurry or the of the or the stocks, like I said in my last video. Um, they also throw. Um, also do a bunch of other things. Um, they birds attack you, animals attack you. Most likely, you either and sometimes in certain cases it's uh, death because they just leave you out there for the birds to kill you, to be pecked to death, or to um, die from the elements. Frostbite most likely occurred a lot during the winter. And then number ten is not really a torture per se, in the fact it was given by governments, but it's a torture nonetheless, and I'm going to call it lobotomies. It's well, what is it really called? Called lobotomies were mainly used in mid, not medieval, um, in um, mental asylums or uh, asylums in all around the, around the, actually all around the world. Um, and it was mm, okay. Let me put this straight. Lobotomies don't do nothing for you if you're even if, even if you have like a mental illness, like schizophrenia. Actually, it makes you a lot worse. Um. People would say, doctors would say to their patients, don't worry, I'm going to give you a lobotomy. It's going to get rid of your violent tendencies. But the thing is, it gets rid of everything. You become a mild zombie. You can't go to the bathroom on your own. You can't do any, basically, you can't do shit. You're stuck in a cantonic state for the rest of your own goddamn life. That's, basically, it doesn't help you at all. It just wor makes it wor everything worse. And my funny thing is, they give these things for, for people who just have no problem like, like for example, they would do it to kids with people with ADHD, people with um Asperger's syndrome, people with um people with air just being a normal person would get this if you're in a mental hospital. It's it's so fucked up. Again, it was only used as a rock resort, but still 
it was fucked up. And they would always like, lie, like oh, don't worry, I have your best interest heart. No, you don't. Fucking don't tell me about my best interest, asshole. My best interest will be getting out of the fucking place, but you don't want to see. You don't want that happening for some reason. Anyways, um, that's it for this video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Tell me what you think of these tortures or execution ways of execution in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Goodman Shine is out.